Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. I am home in Medford for the weekend and today is actually my first wedding dress fitting, so I'm super excited. I'm gonna show you my outfit really cute, really fast. So this is what I'm wearing. I have a pair of Zara denim on. This little crop top is actually also Zara. And then this white little blazer is Topshop. So that is the fit. I just have some Air Forces on with it and we're in a rush. So about to head out and get there. I think it's like 30 minutes away. So we have a little bit of a drive and my mom is coming with me for the first fitting. We're on our way. I have my mom here, but she does not want to be in the vlog, which is a okay. Ryan's window is open. I know I saw it. Um, I'm in Matt's car right now. If you couldn't tell, because last night I was driving up to Jersey, and I got a flat tire on 495, and it was like the most terrifying thing ever. Actually, I think I stayed pretty calm when I called you. I was like, got a flat tire, gotta go. <laughs> but it was scary just because that road is like so crazy there was like no shoulder for me to pull off on oh and I was sitting there like I called 911 <laughs> I wasn't gonna call 911 because I called AAA they said it was gonna be 120 minutes so I was like that's crazy it's getting dark and they're like if you don't feel safe call 911 they'll have like an officer come sit with you like just to slow down traffic because people were like whizzing by me and so I called 911 and they didn't even like ask like what I really needed and they were like okay VDOT is coming which is like Virginia Department of Transportation and VDOT got there in like five minutes and changed my tire and then AAA showed up and they were he was so mad he was like so you want me to cancel it and I was like well th yeah I guess I mean unless you got want to go help him but <laughs> like I guess I don't need you anymore but it was like literally like within seconds or like a few minutes that they showed up with each other so so AAA it wasn't didn't no AAA minutes. didn't take nearly as long as oh they said it goodness. would but since they said it was so long, I was like, I'm not gonna sit here for 120 minutes possibly without like someone slowing traffic down or whatever. So it was so dark then and it was scary. So that was my night. Thankfully, I was not like halfway. Cause if I was halfway, like what would I have done? Well, you would have just had to drive home on a donut. You can, you can't drive more than 50 miles on it. How many miles is it from like here to there? Like 300. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to drive on it. Yeah, you could probably make it. You just have to go I wouldn't slow. have. I wouldn't have tried. I would have been terrified. Because <laughs> it felt shaky. Like, I was driving, like, 30 on 95. Oh, and I was geez. like... <laughs> and then my driving anxiety, like, the rest of the ride was beyond bad. I was, like, about to have a panic attack. So, uh -huh. that's why I'm in Matt's car. All his stuff's in the back. So, it's, like, a mess. But <laughs> that's my life. And... I made it home in time for my fitting at least, and that's all that matters. So I'm gonna put in the address for the store, cause I like honestly don't know how to get there again. But I think we're like 30 minutes away, and that's yeah. like perfect timing. Hope we get there on time. Starting we'll get there on time, we'll be fine. Okay, so I'll see you guys when we get there. Okay. We just got here, very sunny out. My hair is already like flat. I feel like it was a waste to even curl it, but. Here we go. I'm nervous. I have I don't even like remember my dress, I feel like. But here we go. Okay guys, <laughs> this is my dress. How crazy. We just did our whole fitting, got everything like altered, all the good stuff, but this is the store I got my dress at. It's called Fashion Du Jour. It's in Haddon Township in New Jersey, if you guys are interested. I love it here. So, very happy with my dress and everything. So, woohoo! So, you can start doing whatever you want. <laughs> and then you tell me if you like it. Can we do another one? No, that's cute. That's cute. <laughs> yeah, that's cute, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, mom and I are going to La Scala's for lunch. I used to work here. I've been here a million times, like I showed you guys, but literally love it. <laughs> okay, so this is like a staple when we come here. We always get the meatball trio. So good. It has like this ricotta. Yummy. So yummy. This is the ricotta board. It's like their pizza dough bread and then honey and ricotta layered. It is like the most amazing thing in the world. Oh my gosh, yum. It's 
cute. Always looking for white dresses. I wonder if that could be cute. Oh, you're so cute. Hi, thank you. Drop it. You wanna play? Drop it. Hi, Bentley. You're really cute. You're really, really cute. Okay, mom and I just got home from the dress fitting and lunch. Lunch was so good. I literally love the scalas. I, I swear, if you guys can get there, there's a few locations in like the Philadelphia, South Jersey area. It's the best. The ricotta board is like to die for. I worked there this summer going into my junior year of college, so quite a while ago, but I still like love that restaurant. But, um, Today at the dress appointment, the lady that works there, her name is Olga. She's absolutely awesome. Like, I love her so much. She's so awesome to work with. She's so helpful. But she mentioned that a few of you guys actually came in to the store because of my dress video. And you, like, mentioned that you saw her store on my video. And, like, you came in to check it out because of that. And that just makes my heart so happy. Thank you guys for watching and caring. And, I mean, I just think that is so cool. That is, like awesome to hear that like I actually influenced somebody to do something I think that's just so awesome so just made me really happy today and thank you guys so if any of you did go to the store it's called fashion du jour she has awesome dresses and she's just like an awesome lady so I definitely do recommend and I love her dresses and I love her so I'm happy if you you guys did go check out the store and I wanted to also mention that she told me today that my dress was made and came from Ukraine, which is just really crazy with obviously everything going on right now. So my heart goes out to everybody in Ukraine and every like it's just so sad and crazy. And I didn't even know my dress was coming from UK Ukraine until she just told me. And I just, I mean, I even feel for some of you brides that I hope you guys all get your dresses and everything is okay. Um, but... Definitely some crazy stuff going on in this world right now. Giovanna Alessandro is the designer of my gown. And guys, I am so excited for you guys to see my gown. It is freaking gorgeous. So all we had to do today is get the straps taken in a little. I had to get the padding like tucked in so you couldn't see it from the sides. And then I got it hemmed, obviously. So that is one more step down. I should be able to pick up my dress in two weeks from today. I'm gonna be back in Jersey and be able to pick up my dress and take it home with us. So that is super crazy. We're getting really, really, really close. Um, just a little over two months out now. So I hope you guys are all following along the wedding journey because it's been crazy, but so awesome. And I've obviously had so many videos about it. So I hope you guys are enjoying. So now for the rest of the day, I am going to be picking up Matt's wedding band from the jeweler in like a half hour they just texted me that it's ready we had to get it resized which was a whole production um but that is ready for us to pick get picked up i think i'm gonna go see my grandparents in a little bit i think i'm gonna change into some comfy clothes because i am feeling a little uncomfortable but this outfit's so cute i just have this little i showed you earlier but little bralette thing zara top shop blazer and yeah so okay that's all later i have you propped up like crazily right now but we are about to run to dinner. Um, the past few hours, I picked up Matt's wedding band from the jewelry store, which is very nice. And then I went to visit my grandparents, spent some time with them. And now we are just running to this restaurant called PJ's in my town. I feel like we go here every single time I'm home. It's just like a little bar in town. So I'm just quick, quickly freshening up, fix my face a little and then head out with my parents. was pretty much the, the whole freshening up I really really don't care how I look I have this comfy um little sweater quarter zip thing on from Hollister actually which is like 
completely shocking, but I have two of these. I love them. It's like this comfiest, like, barefoot dreams material. I live in these things. I love them. So this is the outfit for tonight. Very chill. I probably won't be vlogging because I forget to vlog every time I go to a restaurant, I feel like. So if I get some clips in for the rest of the night, you will see them, but I will most likely be seeing you guys in the morning. So I got a toasted caramel crunch latte and a bacon, egg, and cheese sizzly. So our little Wawa breakfast every single morning when I'm here, so. Hey guys, happy Saturday. It is kind of late in the day already. It's like getting close to one. And I'm just starting my day because, well, there, it's been nasty weather all morning, so no one really wants to do anything. It's been like sleeting and gross. And so we are about to go now to get my dad and brother's tuxes for the wedding. And then I'm going to have lunch, do a few errands, do some shopping. That's pretty much it. And my brother's still asleep and it's like 1 o'clock. So got to wake him up and tackle that task of him not freaking out <laughs> of us waking him up um but I'm just quickly getting ready okay sorry the lighting is so bad <laughs> in that direction i don't know why that light turns like so yellow but ready it took me literally this clip's been on for four minutes so it took me like no time and it is snowing out which is really crazy i'm like so over this winter weather and we are getting close to being done with it thank the lord but it is snowing today and hopefully it doesn't get too bad so we can go out and like get our day rolling i don't know here is the like, comfy cozy outfit for today i'm wearing these misguided sweatpants that i have like a million colors of they're so comfortable uh walmart long sleeve top and then this cardigan it's just like a coat and i <laughs> forgot my coat in the craziness of switching cars with matt the other night when my tire went out so this is like my coat for the day and yeah just a comfy cozy black casual outfit so we just got ryan and dad's tuxes fitted for the wedding and it was quite an ordeal it was definitely not like that when we went for matt um but hopefully everything is good and taken care of and we've got like two months until the wedding so now we're gonna go grab some food and yeah it's been a very chill saturday so it's been like forever um since i last filmed but we got riviera pizza for dinner i can't open this though if I'm blurry or if my eyes are just not working properly but good morning happy Sunday um we lost an hour today because it's daylight savings and I feel exhausted it's like almost 11 right now and I'm still tired but um we are about to get ready and go to the mall and yes I'm wearing this again I've literally been wearing it all weekend but it's just so cozy like I can't get out of it so um yes I'm wearing it again don't make fun of me but I'm about to get ready to go shopping with my mom and dad. I need like soap, so I'm gonna go to Bath and Body Works. And I need new Air Forces. I'm gonna wear them for the wedding. And then I also am looking for white dresses for wedding events. So I feel like my life kind of revolves around the wedding at this point. I'm always like shopping for it or doing something for it. But that is the game plan for today. And I'm actually going back to Virginia tonight after we get home i'm gonna go see my grandparents again and hang out a little but i am heading back home tonight and yeah so i'm gonna bring you along the day go shopping enjoy the day obviously and then go home so i'm gonna get ready really quick the lighting is so bad in this room like you saw yesterday but it's like so yellow when i face this way even with my light on so okay we're about to head out um i did my slicked bun that i do all the time it's a little off-centered now that I'm looking in the viewfinder, but I think next time I do this bun, I'm going to do like a little tutorial of how I do it um, because 
I just love this bun. So I want to show you guys the, like what I use. I really don't use any products, but it works a lot better when your hair is like old or greasy. Um, and that's usually when I do my hair, but I actually washed my hair last night. So it's definitely not. I just didn't feel like doing my hair and my natural hair is just like not, not nice to be left. So I didn't really feel like taking the time to curl it. And this literally takes like two minutes. So that's what I did. And we're about to head out to the mall, get some shopping done. Okay, so I got four soaps. They were doing four for 20. So I got soaps and then I had a coupon for a free gift. And I also had a coupon for 20% off. So 15 bucks for four soaps and a mini lotion. I can't see it. There you go. Not bad. I feel like they have so many cute pantsuits right now. And they have like white ones. So I'm looking for wedding stuff, but they have white pantsuits. And I'm kind of considering a pantsuit for some of the wedding events, but I love Zara so much. They have the best stuff. Just got home. Whoa. Life flashed before my eyes. <laughs> um, just got home from the mall. We were only there for like an hour. We were so fast and very, very successful. So. The first thing we got when we went was some soaps. I needed more soaps for my house. So I picked up Peach Bellini. This is my favorite scent from Bath and Body Works. This is like amazing. Um, and then I got Kitchen Mandarin. And then I got uh, Terracotta Canyon. I liked the packaging, like this packaging more subdued, but the fun scents were like the fruity ones were more in this like brighter packaging. And then pineapple mango. So all really yummy. And then my free gift was this little tiny lotion. I can keep it in like my purse or something, but it's called a thousand wishes. And there's like no scent description. I just picked it up. I had no idea. This one's good. I'll just keep it in my purse for like my hands and all that kind of stuff. So that is what I got from Bath and Body Works. Super fast trip. And then we ran to Zara. And my mom actually got an outfit for my shower at Zara, which is like so cute. I'll show you guys the day of the shower. But I just picked up this white, <laughs> this white, this pink tank top. I, I really love colors for the summer, even though like I try to kind of stick to more like subdued whites, neutrals. But summer, I just, I love <laughs> some bright colors. So I got this really cute tank top and it was only six bucks. So. That was like a pair of jean shorts or like white pants. I think it would be so cute. And then this is the last thing I got, which is actually my shower dress. So for the bridal shower, I'm not gonna show it right now because I kind of want it to be a surprise. Um, so definitely subscribe, stick around. You'll see the shower, it's April 30th. So that will be a whole separate vlog obviously and I'm very excited, but I got a dress from Abercrombie and it's so cute. I'm happy about it and I'm excited for you guys to see it. And then my parents also picked me up a pair of new fresh Air Force Ones. And that's actually going to be my shower present from my parents because I really want to switch my shoes for my reception just so I can like be comfortable and dance. And I'm going to put on Air Forces and switch out the laces to have like really cool like tool laces or something. Make it a little bit more bridal but that is the plan for the shower and it's coming up so fast. So um, yeah, I didn't get that much and we were only there for like an hour, which is actually kind of nice. We got everything done and we were so like speedy and it was perfect. So go. my mom and I are going to grab lunch now. We had to drop my dad off because he wanted to watch a soccer game. So dropped my dad off and now my mom and I are going to grab some lunch, just split a chicken sandwich from this place, the place that we got dinner from last night, the pizza place has a chicken sandwich that we just love to share so that is what we're doing i hate i honestly just don't like eating at home when i'm here because there's just so many good food places here that i like need to get to before i go back home which is tonight so that's what we're doing bentley is right here behind me look at this look at this doggy so my parents dog bentley look how cute he is he's usually not much of a lover but today he's liking to give me love He's a talker. You wanna hear him talk? Yep. Talk for them. Oh yeah. We love a talker. Okay. Okay, we're going to lunch. 
it is quite some time later. I took all my makeup off and am ready to hit the road. Uh, after we went to lunch, we stopped by my grandparents and hung out there for a little, said goodbye. And now it is time to go back to Virginia, which is crazy. But at least we have some daylight savings. So it's still bright out for my drive, which it usually wouldn't be at this time. I think it's like a little after six already. So time to get on the road. I have a three hour drive ahead of me. So I just wanna get home to my bed and Matt and Frankie. So that is what I'm doing now. And I am going to obviously end the vlog here. If you have stayed this long, thank you. Um, make sure you're subscribed and stick around. I have so many fun vlogs and all these, so many videos coming. So I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Bye.